Hello and welcome. My name is Patricia Calix, aka Paddy Pastos Master's Journey. Let me ask you this. Have you ever been asked to give a toast at an event or a party when you were not prepared for it? Did you struggle to find the right words? Was it a catastrophic or humiliating experience for you? If you've answered yes to any of these questions, you'll want to hear my eight tips on how to give a great toast in the next few minutes. Trust me, I did my research. You will want to hear this. I will also share a toast to the memory of someone whom I loved very dearly. As always, I like to give the option to skip straight to the toast at the time that appears on the screen or in the description below. I hope you find this helpful and see you later. For everyone else, thank you for hanging out with me. At some point in the coming years, you will be asked to give out, out a toast. There's no way around it. <laughs> it could be a wedding, a birthday, some work-related event, but it's coming. Brace yourself. <laughs> Most of us have already been placed in this, that awkward toast-giving situation already. I have been in that awful spot of having to deal with my brain freezing, slight panic, attempting to be inspirational, properly honoring someone while not making a fool of myself. <laughs> And I always strongly disliked it. Any chance I got, I talked my way out of giving the toast. I'm here today to help you not suffer the way that I did. Let's start at the beginning. What is a toast? A toast is a mini speech to honor a person, an organization, it could be an event or anything else you would like to support. To give you some ideas, it can be a toast on a holiday or a celebration, a role model, an organization that helps people, or a certain profession. Which brings me to the eight tips I will be sharing on how to give a great toast. Tip number one, get the audience's attention. Get to the microphone if there's one. Tap on it. Test, test. Test. <laughs> a clink on a glass. Or raise your voice and say, may I have everyone's attention, please? Just make sure that eyes are on you and that the chatter stops. You know that point where everyone around you is saying, shh, she's about to give a toast. She's about to give a toast. Yeah, that moment. <laughs> Get yourself some cheerleader. Get their attention. Toast, uh, tip number two, start with a catchy hook. Start with what you're going to share. Today, I will share a few things you never knew about the bride. <laughs> People, they're gossipy like that. They'll, they'll stop, they'll pay attention to what you're saying. <laughs> tip number three, then give some background and try to make it entertaining. Like instead of saying something like, I'm the groom's eldest sister. You want to say something more like, I'm the one who kept my little brother in trouble for decades. <laughs> Tip number four, keep it brief and concise. You may share a few stories depending on how much time you have and stick to a theme. Try to avoid going all over the place. No 10 minute monologue and no roasting. Like as long as soon as you know that what you're about to see will be embarrassing the person, just just don't go there. <laughs> don't go there. <laughs> be nice. Try to get to three points if possible. Three things you may not know about my father. Three reasons why this couple is a perfect match. Or three things you should ask them about how they met. Tip number five. Know your audience and adapt to them. Don't speak to baby boomers the way that you would speak to a class of third graders. Just simply adjust to whoever you're speaking with. Meet them where they are. Tip number six. If you're insecure, 
and not used to speaking in public, you may want to use a cheat sheet. All the only thing that you need to remember is just don't read it like word for word, because then you're missing an opportunity to connect with the audience and have eye contact with them. So just look at have some bullets and just try to base yourself off of that. Tip number seven. Try not to be under the influence of substances before you speak. Wait until after your speech to go through an entire bottle of wine. The, I love you, man. You're my OG, you're my man. It would be memorable, just not in a very flattering way. And number eight, finally, the most important part, the actual toast. You want to say something like, I would like to propose a toast to Bob, an exceptional man. Or please raise your glass with me to Bob and Barbara. Hmm. <laughs> and there you have it. You're home free. And now we can, you can go and have that drink. Woo! <laughs> Let's leave the wedding for now. Back to the Toastmasters world. As you may already know, I'm currently working on my next speech that I will be releasing in the coming weeks. But in the meantime, I'm on a mission to demystify all the different Toastmasters roles that we play during our club meetings. If you're new to this world, until you gain the required confidence to take on more complex roles or to give out a speech, giving a toast is a short and easy one you will simply want to be concise and brief and maintain eye contact with the audience as much as possible. Easy peasy. All right, let's go. I'm about to share a toast that I shared at my club, Words on Wings, when I had just gotten started. Don't hesitate to share an experience you lived giving out a toast, whether it was a good or a bad one, in the comments below. I'm curious to know how you dealt with it. Did it scar you? <laughs> if it's not already done, subscribe to my channel and click to get notifications so you'll be the first to know whenever I upload my future Toastmasters roles and also that speech I've been working on. It should be a good one. <laughs> Let's hear it. Dear Toastmasters and welcome guests, I would like to propose a toast to the memory of an exceptional man whom I loved with all my heart. To a devoted husband, an outstanding father, a protective brother, a loyal friend, an inspiring professor, the founder of the charitable association, Elders of Haitian Origin, or Personnes Âgées d'Origine Haitienne. And finally, the author of the book, Chaque cas, c'est un cas, de Carrefour Jésus à Montréal. His life mission was to help others help themselves. Mission accomplished, Daddy. To my late father, Antiochus Calixte. I hope you found this content helpful. As usual, if you liked it, do press a thumbs up. Let me know what you liked in the comments and also what you feel I can improve. And if you have any ideas on content you would like to see me share on this channel in between my speeches that I have to, pre to prepare for my pathway, please let me know in the comments or just send me a direct message on my social media platform. I always read and respond to every comment. And if you feel this uh, content can be helpful to anyone else, share the love. See you in the next video.